What's up, fish fries people? Today we're doing a little late evening vlog. As you can see, this is my shrimp tank. I restarted the shrimp tank. I wasn't doing too well at one point with them. And I decided to get back into it. So I picked up 12 blue shrimp. And that's, that's the interesting thing. Is this blue? This looks like black to me, guys. This looks like a black shrimp. Now, I just saw blue. All right, let me get, let me, let me try to catch him here. Where is he, where is he? Okay, there, there you go. He has a blue coloration to him. So there's no mistake in that that's blue, right? But guess what? He was just as black. He or she was just as black. Is that is that something with these blue um, shrimp, guys? Someone could tell me. Is it that they display different tones of their coloration based on what I mean? I don't know based on their mood who knows so guys as usual i'm all over the place and look at this one look at this one now what color is this shrimp as i said i i got 12 shrimp all looked black this one now the camera may not be doing it much justice but this shrimp has a brownish blue coloration what is that brown business about? I didn't order brown shrimp, guys. Now, I saw there was a molt that took place. Um, is it that when they molt, probably the rich, darker colors is removed and the lighter colors show display? I know that happens with the crayfish. I have crayfish as well. I'll show a piece of footage of my crayfish. Is it that is it that as the as soon as they mold they have a you know a lighter coloration and then as they develop or as the new shell gets more gets formed and gets more mature it takes on a more solid coloration that could be it i don't know guys i don't know but i'm sure some of you experts in the shrimp hobby will know better than me and may want to comment and give me some advice guys i'll tell you one thing though Shrimp behavior is always exciting. You know, it's 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 really relaxing. It's really re relaxing watching them. You know, just menacing around, taking their good old cool time, grazing. See how nice and blue this one is. Probably the same one I showed you a little earlier on. See, and he's, he was there bouncing around, jumping around. Now he's more grazing and relaxing. And all of that's fine particles of food that's all over in the tank. So I must say the shrimp stock has been doing pretty good. Um, at one point I've seen up to 11 up to yesterday out grazing feeding so i know that and i saw one actually mold change their outer exoskeletal so that was a successful mold because i was able to see the mold you know on display um so yeah
So let's try to see how much we can see here. So guys, there's these two here. There's that one on the rock there, that's three. Next to the two there, that's another one here, that's four. One in front there, shell five. Another one next to another shell here, that's six. Then there's this blue one here, seven. And then there's one up on the filter. Yeah, that's eight. So out of 12, there's eight that you can see. And the other four, as you can see, this is a really, this is a ser serious rock scape. So there's a lot of hiding space in here. So as you can imagine, the other four will do well inside those rocks because probably they're not ready to graze up for anything yet or they probably engaging in funny business <laughs> making baby shrimplets now there there's baby shrimp in here also what's what do you call a baby shrimp guys is it a shrimplet i don't know i'm gonna call it shrimplet it's not a fish it's not fry so i'm calling it baby shrimplets yeah there's baby shrimplets around there's some white they have they're very 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 small about two three days old four days old so they have a white look to them i haven't taken any color yet if i see any i'll try to add them in so you guys could see So guys, that's it. I've not been able to see any shrimplets to, to show you all. But I'm sure we'll get to look at them in a future video as they get a little bigger. And also this tank has a four corridors. Um, they didn't decide to come out today either. So I've not been able to show you the corridors. Again, because of this rock scape, those guys have a lot of hiding space. I'm actually trying to see if I can get them to breed also. I must say they, they are ravagers. They eat a lot. Um, they have a lot of food in here. Don't want to throw off the water parameters by overfeeding. But what I'm trying to do is get a handle on the amount of food that the corridors eat so that they are always reasonably fed because what I've noticed is that they are so ravenous with the eating that they leave the shrimp competing for food so right now I think I have the right mix in terms of how much food I've given where the shrimp gets to feed and graze in peace and then those guys come out and deal with the more heavy lifting and then when they um, spread the food around the, the shrimp continue to get more food so guys I'm going on and on and on these videos can become very long with the way how I do vlogs <laughs> I'm not a professional like those other guys who keep a lot of content in a very short space of time but I just really you know speak about what's going on I enjoy doing those little videos here with all my interest in um, pets as you know it's just a pastime for me everybody should have a hobby regardless of what it is and there's no fear you know some people would be like what is he doing putting these videos on youtube you know at the end of the day that's to my appeasement you know and um, 
you guys will have your things to do man so do your thing whatever it is let's do whatever makes you happy so guys that's it the fish fries over and out until the next one ciao